Well, it's Super Bowl weekend, and it's a time when a spotlight is shined on the dangers of human trafficking. Some suggest that the event is one of the busiest times of the year for traffickers, but advocates want you to know that trafficking is happening all the time, not just during a single event. Taylor Pollock spoke with one nonprofit about how our state is cracking down on the industry. Taylor? Yeah, that's right. I spoke with Wellhouse Ministries, who provides shelter and rehabilitation for human trafficking survivors, and they tell me that this crime happens year round, and so it must be fought year round as well. Wellhouse tells me events like the Super Bowl increase human trafficking because demand increases for that particular area, but they stress trafficking happens everywhere, including right here in Alabama all the time. Human trafficking seems to be a top priority for Governor Kay Ivey, who recently endorsed the proposed Sound of Freedom Act that would give harsher penalties to those who traffic minors in the state. Alabama as a state is committed to ending trafficking. We're leaps and bounds beyond what most states are doing right now. There could definitely be harsher penalties for people who are purchasing sex. I think Alabama does a great job of educating people on this is why this matters so much. And this is the bigger issue that we're looking at here. If you think you see something, you can call the National Human Trafficking Hotline. We have those numbers for you over on our website. Brittany, Steve.